Hello guys, welcome back to Dunk Place Fez. We're on episode 14 now. Um, and how epic was last episode of these, oh, all these puzzles and it's epic. Just amazing. I don't really know what to say about it. If you missed last episode, I suggest you go and watch it. We worked out so much stuff. Um, it's amazing how much stuff there actually is hidden in this game. Um, so we, what we're going to do is we're going to first check out the rest of this. I want to make all this gold. Then I want to head on into this area, um, check a few of the other places, the stuff on the walls. And I had an idea for there, that little secret room as well, because of um, looks back on the video. Um, and it's always I always find it's good when I look back on my um, playthrough uh, and see things that I've missed. Um, I know there's probably a lot pointed out that I'll... The thing is, like, these videos, I'd, I'll do them... Um, a day or two ahead of when they actually go out and by the time I've done said something in this video someone's pointed it out in the comments so um, if I do say something um, and don't like say that because someone said it in the comments it's because now at the time oh that room had nothing in it now at the time when I'm saying it um, nobody's actually commented it oh that's a sneaky door look at it um, so I do apologize if you have said this in the comments and I've not um, giving you credit for telling me but it's because at the current time right now when I'm doing the video I don't know if, is that just oh so you just go in the room seems really pointless um, so yes I I'm fully aware that people will be commenting after I've been doing the videos um, so you'll have to take that into account that it'll probably be like two episodes later when I'll pick up on your comment in the actual video um, so we are heading off to that area now because this whole area is complete um, apart from the fact of working out what the signs say and stuff like that um, but I'm pretty sure that even if you if it's like if it's all gold there's definitely not any secrets left in it so I think we're good for that let's go and have a look in here um, right there's a golden cat meow right we are needing to go into into that room there. There's also a secret of this, like this whole area. I don't know if that's something to do with the door because the 32-bit door. Someone commented saying, um, "Just go for the 32-bit door straight away, and then worry about the secrets." Um, and I would do that if it wasn't for. Um, what happened in last episode made me excited to work out more secrets. Um, so I think we're going to try. We're going to head for the getting the 32. Um, how many are we up? We're, we're pretty close. We're going to head for getting that through that door. But um, we are still going to be trying to work out secrets at the same time because it's really fun. Um, I need to. That's the octo uh, last uh, episode I was on about one of these octopus things. Um, and we actually found one, like real life one. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. If I just go to see, I've, I've been looking at this when, like, you guys, like, I've not obviously not recorded. I just went on, went and looked at this, studied this dice. So I checked it against an actual dice, and it didn't really make any sense. But if you sort of look at all of these, and then look on here, you'll see they actually, because I've studied it, I can tell they um. They make a what? They make the actual dice thing, um, but I'm, I don't know what these actually like mean. Like along the bottom, there's a load, and I don't really know. I tried to match them up with numbers, but it just didn't make look like it made sense. Um, I think we'll just keep a note that in this area there is stuff. See, what does all this mean? Um, and then we'll have we'll, we'll have to come back after um, and really have a hard look at that stuff. I'm, I'm guessing if I have more of the artifacts, it might be helpfuler. Helpfuler is that a word? I don't think so. Um, more helpful, but I don't know. What's this? I think we. I think this isn't relevant. This area. We've, no, do not have to worry about that one. It's the other one that I was really wanting to go into. Because um, it had a secret in it, and I have an idea. Let's have a look. No, it's not this one either. Although, what is that on the wall? I don't really know. 
Can you imagine when we're at the end of the game though, and I hopefully worked everything out, going around um, looking at everything will be so epic to now understand it all. So where's the other door? It better not be that door, because I walked straight past that one. No, that's the... Oh, hang on. Well, I really wanted to check this because I've found two... Um... Can anyone remember if they were actually on his head before, those two? Oh, now I'm going to have to check back on the video. Hear the L, see the FG, assemble palm. See, from that I'm guessing that that's some stupid code for um, find all the owls in the map, in the world or whatever. Um, I'll have to check back and see if he did have two candles on his head because I know we found two owls. That might be a coincidence that there's two candles on his head. Then again, it might not. You'd never know. Um, so we'll have to check back. But if I can find this blasting door, that better be it. Yeah, you move out the way. Right. Because, as you can kind of see, oh, that's ridiculous. Hidden by this, um, hidden by this chair on the wall is some sort of. I don't know how I'm going to do this. What I might have to do is pause it um, and then like work, like do something where I basically do that, record it, screenshot it. Um, but you got you guys won't miss anything. I'll be back in like a second on the video. Um, and then I'll be back with the inscription. So I will see you in a second. And we're back, guys. Um, although in the video, this will be like half a second later anyway. Um, so yeah, so I paused it on that bit there in between so I could see and work out what it was. Um, it's a pretty simple code, I did it the same way, instead of reading down to bottom you turn that 90 degrees to the right from what the other one was to make it read left to right. And all it is is RT, LT, RT, LT, RT, LT, RT, LT. And that has done nothing. So I don't know what that means um, at the moment, um, but that's all it turn out that it said it should be so that's obviously not worked um, don't know if it should have done but there's definitely a secret in that room that we still have to uncover so we will leave that for now um, but who knows um, there's nothing else we can actually do apart from the secret in this area um, but I really have no idea what that could be um, so we're just going to get out of this area um, I'm just trying the RTLT thing on this but it wasn't working um, and next place I wanted to go was well, there's a lot of places, but I really I do want to go there because of that treasure map. Um, if you didn't know in the last episode, I'll grab the treasure map and explain in a second. Uh, actually, I'll check it when we get there. Um, that'll probably make more sense. But um, yeah, basically when I was looking at the uh, dice uh, to try and work out what that meant, um, I looked at the treasure map quickly. Um, as I was skimming past and suddenly had an idea um, oh there's another thing we need to do on here is go through that door on the left there's so much stuff I still need to do um, right where oh and the bell towers off this one isn't it right we are just gonna go straight to that one if I could work out where that one was um, is it that one no, that's the bell tower um, that's the lighthouse. That's the one we haven't been. Oh, it's that one there. Mm, hopefully, this will work. Um, I'm becoming an amazing master puzzle solving person recently. The amount of stuff we've completed is brilliant. Um, so, when I actually get up to the top of this, I will explain my findings. Um, unless you've watched the last episode, in which case you'll already know. And if you missed the last episode, as I say, go and watch it, because it's epic. Um, oh, have we not even been through that door? Oh, lame. More areas to explore. Anyway, um, I'll get it set up how it is in the picture. I'm pretty sure it looks similar to that side. So, press the wrong button. Um, treasure map. If you see... Um, we are basically in the bottom middle bit, we're stood by the rock. Um, there's a red little line at the top, I'm guessing that's something invisible maybe that we can climb on. Um, so yeah, you can sort of see that is how the exact layout of this area is. So if we can get over to this side, 
and all the way up to the top then we will be able to find out how to get up to that treasure chest by hopefully I think it was from this angle here yeah there should technically be something I don't really want to jump and die off but like fall off or whatever but it doesn't make um, things ruined um, right there maybe I have to jump from the tree like can I even get to the tree can I climb on this tree and then climb on that tree and then oh my god what else is it? how oh, I don't know how far it is to the edge um, no okay you can't turn it so how am I supposed to make that jump <laughs> okay um, so we got to that point but now what the hell do we do because obviously we can't turn it because it doesn't seem to like it at all unless I'm stood right that's the edge of it ah, I can sort of get an outline by doing this and that's the okay so what about if I turn oh this makes no sense no oh. all right what we're gonna have to try and do is do an epic walk this way turn run jump oh my god No. Oh, this is it's going to take some trial and error to just turn and jump. Okay, this can't be the right way. There's no way that this can be the right way to do it. Um unless I'm thinking you do it from this side maybe. Um Well, that doesn't look like it makes sense. So it's definitely just jumping to there because it's obviously the right jump height but there's no way you're ever going to make that jump there and it just drops you off every time you do that even if you go twice round um, it's probably me being stupid again isn't it like usual but I cannot see any way you could do that at all any way at all that you can make that jump um, oh, unless I'm supposed to have done I can't even remember what that block did down there. It just opened a door as far as I can remember. Um, now it's kind of getting annoying because I just keep falling off. Um, go! God damn you! Meh. Um, maybe we need another piece of the treasure map to understand more. Um, but I, don't, I can't really tell. Um, kind of bored of just jumping off and dying right we're going back we're going what else um, what have we done over here we've done everything there I think we'll just go finish this section then whilst we're here because um, I did say I I sort of wanted to complete areas as I go through them now um, instead of leaving random stuff then having to come back and we might get some cubes out of it who knows um, so let's have a look unless this opens up a whole new section in which case I'll be like Mwah. But we don't know until we have a look. Let's have a look now. Yeah, there's only one more. And there's cubes. There's like two, two bits worth of cube in here. There's a door. There's everything. Okay. Well, no. Oh, my God. I die so many times recently. I think it's the fact that it doesn't matter if you die. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm dead. Cool. Um, oh, there's another one of the door, the linking doors thing there. Um like above us so there is on I think we're just going to go and complete this bit before we go through that other little door down the bottom um, I wonder if this linking door is going to open yeah it is but I'm not going to go through it um, as I do not want to be taken away from here yet lots of cubes give me the cubes how the hell do I get up there jump no, no I'm just going to jump across then Right. I think the easiest way to do this would just be well, I'm hoping the easiest way to do this would be to climb all the way up and then oh okay it's just going to put me about by cubes anyway so it doesn't matter um, but yes it's been a while since we've actually collected cubes properly I think oh, stupid lag on the game um, 
I suppose that's because we've been going back and forth in areas we've already been in in the past few episodes. Um, and this is the first time we've gone to a new sort of area. Um, get out of here. No, get out of here. Alright, what else have we got? What do you have? Got more cubes. Just lots more cubes. I'm a fan of these. Hang on a minute. Okay. Um, ah, that was simpler than I thought. And that is also going to be simpler than I thought. Um, now, there's no reason why we need to be on this side, is there? Not as far as I can tell. Uh, so we're just going to go up. Up and away. Okay, uh, change this. That did nothing for us. Why would you do that? Okay, there's no more cube bits um, from this area that we can get. But there is that big cube over there. I uh, don't know how to get to it. Oh, I see. Hang on. Maybe there is a reason for going through here. So you go through this side here, and then, yeah, there. <sighs> no, no. I'm not going to make that, am I? Come on, be serious. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. And all the way up here for another warp zone. And I swear, those cubes, they never grab it straight away whenever I jump. It feels like you jump through it the first time, and then you finally get it. Um, so what are we on now? That area, which is still not complete, this area we're actually in. Unless that just means that I need to go through the door. So we'll go back down at the... Okay. <laughs> we'll climb back down at the door. I always do this. Just try and jump down really fast and it never works because you just end up dying. Um, but hopefully... I seem to be getting down there quickly. Oh, there's so much I went down from. No, please don't die. No. Drop off. Yeah. Alright, where's the door? Door, where are you? There you are. Alright, let's go. Now, hopefully that area is gold, because if that area is not gold, I don't know what I'm not missing, whether I have to use the warp zone to make it gold or something. Ooh. No, that area is gold. It was just this door. And give me the treasure chest. Treasure chest, is there anything else? Treasure chest! This looks like an amazing treasure chest. But I'll hold something amazing in it. Not a treasure map, unless it's something to help me on that. No, it's one of those stupid looking ones. Why do you keep giving me those? What does that even mean? I'm guessing it's a number and a something. But I mean, I need, I need the other bit of that. I need like, the other, and well, if, I, if they're not another bit of that, then I have no idea how he's ever supposed to make that jump. Anyway, um... So, what are we doing next? Let's have a look. Going back to... We're leaving that. I might go in there. Look, actually, no, where is there? Hang on, how'd you get... Hmm... Maybe it's from that area there. I don't know, let's have a look. So if we go back out of here, because we now finish this area, feels good to have this area fully complete. Um, and then knowing that I don't have to actually ever go back all the way through just to pick up one cube or something. Um, Alright. Where is this? This is, yes, this is that area, but, no, not killer cubes been down there, so I don't know how you get to there. Um, that, that doorway is to the next place which we don't need to go, so we need to go back. Um, and yes, so although we did have that treasure map, it wasn't actually, well it was sort of helpful, um, but it didn't actually help me get to the treasure chest. And why are they everywhere? Right, where are we going next then? We're going, yeah, bell tower or lighthouse? Mm, bell tower, I think. Um, oh, and I definitely want to go, I'm going to make my way back. Look how much of this area there is. Make my way back up to there to try and do that code thing. Because um, we now have the, what it is, just turn it sideways and then break it apart and then we know. But we're just going to go to the bell area quick. Um, 
and as that, uh, I'm taking the advice from that person who said just complete the, to the 32 door, then come back um, to the area. So we are going to go up through that top left thing when we come back out from the bell area. Um, as I think that when you get through the 32, I'm just going to guess that you get through the 32 door and then there's like something for 64 that it will do. I don't know. I have no idea to be honest, but. We're going to go with going for 32 bits without focusing on solving a lot of puzzles. If I see something, I'm not going to pass it up, I'm going to try and solve it. But otherwise, apart from that, we're going to go for the cubes to get to the 32 door. We have, how many? Uh, 18 and 5, my maths is awful, that's 23. So we are 9 away. Um, that's quite a few cubes actually, it's going to take us a little bit of time. Actually, it depends. Like, because I suppose you do get one cube for like solving these puzzles. So yeah, um, apparently that these there's different symbols on each side. See, there's like four dots on this side, that weird thing on this side, that on that side, and that on that side. So apparently, you ring the bell a certain amount of times, and it will like if you do it the right amount, it will tell you. So I'm gonna quickly whilst we now get our piece of paper, our trusted piece of paper. You might be able to hear laughing about um, and I'm going to draw these symbols down and then I'm going to because hopefully if we can work out what these symbols are um, in number form might help us for other things um, and we've got two lines there um, now if I ring the bell here on this side let's go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's not worked. Um, let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um. Maybe this theory was wrong, um, or maybe there's a certain order, I don't know. Hmm. Um, I don't know, we might have to come back to this then, when I have a better idea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, otherwise it's going to be me sat here ringing a bell for no apparent reason. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to come back to this then when I've had a think um, about it. And what is this? Oh, it's that other area. Yeah, that's the one I was on about where there's like... Um, there's like two bits of thing out of the water and that was my theory of the water level having because if you can see there there's like two light bits that could be balconies of other places um, so this is my theory of there is more and where the hell do I get to it I wonder if that opens now does let's go have a look and see where this takes us um, then there's more that's un that's covered up by the sea I don't know um, it's just an idea um, I think this episode's running rather long actually so where are we? we're back oh we're on this bit here okay um so i think we are going to end it here um with a bit with a slight bit of failure with the bell idea um but i will have to look into that because i'm pretty sure and i and i don't even know where that is now i've lost that um what else have we got to do there's a lighthouse secret but oh yeah we've got to go up here so next episode i promise we will go back up here and we'll take this code thing that we've worked out and try and get that secret area done. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this episode. Um, not quite as epic as the last episode, I do know, because the last episode was like, ooh, we've worked out stuff. And this episode was like, ooh, we've sort of not, we've sort of failed three times or something. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.